It's no secret that for some time, Evernote has been receiving a lot of complaints on the forums and in uh, emails to certified experts like me and in other ways from people who are complaining about problems that Evernote uh, has been having with uh, speed, with losing notes. I mean, there have been a lot of concerns about the Evernote software and whether it was going to survive. Some people said it was time to leave Evernote. Well, hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Today, I'm going to share with you a part of a conversation I had with the head of Evernote, where he gives us a really candid look at some of the past problems uh, at Evernote, what they're doing to fix them, and a glimpse of what is coming ahead. Before we get to that conversation, I want to remind you that I have two uh, online on-demand courses that might interest you. The first one is Evernote for Beginners. Whether you're brand new to Evernote or still trying to make it work most efficiently for you, this could be the course for you, Evernote for Beginners. My second course is called Getting Things Done with Evernote. And as the name implies, I show you how to employ the productivity system, GTD, on the Evernote platform. Ever since I learned how to do this, I've been running my entire productivity system uh, through Evernote. And it's a very simple, very efficient way of doing it. You don't have to buy anything else. Once you have Evernote, I'll show you the principles of GTD and how you can implement them. I mean, it was a game changer for me in terms of running my business, my personal life, my teaching, all the other aspects of my life. So that's uh, getting things done with Evernote. Check out both courses at uh, my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Okay, uh, so Federico Simonato, as I said, is the head of Evernote. And uh, following our conversation about AI-powered search, uh, I asked him more questions about what was going on behind the scenes at Evernote. You, you put out a, a, a memo to the world uh, not that long ago, acknowledging that you know when Bending Spoons took over uh, Evernote, there were some there were some issues, and you were set as a priority to fix uh, the things that that hadn't been working right. Can you just give us an update as to as to where you are on uh, making sure that the that Evernote is working the way you want it to work? Yes, I can. Um, I can also give you some some like sneak peek into the next update, uh, which is pretty exciting. So um, what I shared in, in that blog post, which I also plan on, on, on rewriting, like not that blog post, but like something similar in the future so that people are up to date with all the uh, improvements under the hood, even if they are not like super visible. But um, what I shared in that blog post is basically that the team rewrote the uh, navigation inside the clients, that we are migrating this uh, huge backend entity called Monolith, um, that we are doing, uh, we're doing a lot of improvements on the RTE service, so like the real time editing um, backend. Um, and so these things remain. Um, we, we, now it's like been a month or so since we published that blog post, I think, uh, of course, the, the more work has been done. Um, to share more about the future, uh, what the team is focusing on now are um, especially um, missing content. Like we rarely receive some um, reports that people um, are losing, especially pieces of notes, especially like uh, pieces that they just added. Um, this is not frequent. I would say it happens. I, I cannot give you a percentage because I don't know, but like definitely very rarely, especially in the last month or two since we started this effort, this is this is almost been solved. But the next uh, desktop version is going to focus heavily on this, uh, and and we introduced a, a lot of uh, improvements to make sure that this um, that this doesn't happen. Or um, I, I think it's fair to say that we basically solved this issue. I, I would be very surprised if if we receive the same amount of reports um, uh, in in the future. Um, and that's the first thing. The second thing is um, loading speed on web, on the web client is, uh, is bad, uh, I believe, um, especially for people with a lot of notes uh, and especially for people who are just logging in for the first time or like uh, they deleted their cache or they changed computers or they logged out for some reason. Um, to, re to log back in, it's, it takes a lot. Like I, I tested um, an account that has 17,000 notes um, and it took four minutes and 45 seconds to, to load it. Um, we are going to uh, release an update for, for that too. Um, with the new system, 
the same account loaded in 17 seconds, which is like a 16, 17 times improvement. Um, so again, like these are just a couple of examples we are doing um, even more uh, backend migrations to newer technologies. Um, like we're, we're still uh, pretty deep into this uh, general performance effort because we want to make sure that the code is clean. Uh, there is no unused stuff. We removed a lot of lines of code from, from the, both the desktop and the mobile clients lately um, that helps with both like the, the making, making sure that there are no bugs, um, but also like it helps the team uh, work more efficiently. Um, so we are doing all these things at once that uh, ensure that the general performance of Evernote is top notch, uh, and we uh, are still we are pretty satisfied with the change, but but we are still not at the point where we are like okay now we are satisfied with it. It's fast. Uh, we like it. Uh, we, there's still more to do, and and we are doing uh, as much as we can. I used to use the uh, web client quite a bit, but I have noticed what what you experience. It is very slow in loading. On the other hand. The uh, app that I use on my Mac, uh, the the last update, the one before I, I don't I can't remember the numbers, but before the uh, the power search, the app the update before that, ever since then, the that that application has been blazing fast. I don't know what you guys did, but you sure jacked it up. <laughs> yeah, I cannot pinpoint it to a, a specific change we did. Um, it's it's a matter of like I wish it was. I, I wish there was just a way to say like make it faster. But actually, it was like countless improvements that, that the team made over uh, many months. So I, I also noticed it. I I use Evernote daily on my on my MacBook for work, and I I was also surprised by how fast the the team was able to make it. Yeah. So, but we should not be th we should not worry that the uh, the new rollout of the ai power search is slowing down the effort to fix these other issues that have been identified no as i teams? said yeah there are two different teams and especially like because even if there are two teams are you like why are you focusing both teams on general performance you know there are uh, many more people people in the other teams um so i, I would say that Virtually, there, there was there would be almost no way to, to make the teams go faster at this point. So we're doing as much as we can to make it go faster. How important is it for people when they when they have a problem, when they when they find a bug, or just they're having a problem? How important is it that they formally report it as opposed to just you know posting something on the forums? I mean, I presume you still want to hear these reports. Yes, um, ideally. They would do both because um, people looking at um, the, the support tickets and the, the forums are different people. Uh, not not always, but but they they generally are different people. Uh, so in case something like this, like an issue happens, um, you basically have higher chances of it being solved if you post it in two separate places. Um, now, the most important of the two is for sure the the customer support ticket, and that is because customer support tickets get formally counted. So if we see that a lot of people have the same issue, for sure we will prioritize that issue. If unfortunately the issue you're experiencing is, is just you experiencing it, then it might not be prioritized uh, as high. Um, so uh, if, if I had to suggest only one way to, to report an issue, it would be a customer support ticket. But ideally doing both helps. There have been uh, occasions where um, the, the people who were reading the, the report on the forum uh, had a lot of um, agency and could just autonomously try to understand what happened and, and kind of either fix it right away or, or identify the reason why it was broken. Um, but, but yeah, I think it's, it's just more useful if you find an official ticket. Well, Federico, I wanna thank you for uh, sharing uh, these updates with us. I, I, I think you and your team should be congratulated on the AI power search rollout. It's, uh, and I'm sure it, it was heavily tested before it was rolled out, but uh, it's, uh, it, it's running great. And uh, thank you very much for sharing your insights with us. Thank you very much, Dave. Federico Simonato is the head of Evernote at Bending Spoons. It was uh, great that he gave us some candid answers to what's going on. And I, if you haven't seen the first interview, 
uh, where we talked about uh, the artificial intelligence powered search. I will link it up above someplace and then uh, you could find it uh, that way. I publish a weekly segment about Evernote, usually on Mondays, and I'd love to have you on board. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button below and then you won't miss any of the episodes. Don't forget about my two courses, Evernote for Beginners and Getting Things Done with Evernote. Check them out at my website, davedwardsmedia.com. Click on courses. Hey, thanks very much for joining me today.